Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kiana and I do a lot of sewing and fashion videos. But today we are going to be doing my 2021 Christmas wish list and kind of gift guide because not all of these things like I'm asking for, some of these things, actually a lot of these things I have and I just think are cool and I wanna let you know about it so that you can ask for them. So I have everything pulled up on my computer right here. I have five categories, crafting and sewing, fashion, beauty, tech, and then like miscellaneous. If you are new to this channel, you are popping in for the first time, this is very much a sewing and fashion based channel. So if you are not into that, skip on ahead because if you look down below at the bottom of this frame, you'll see my timestamps. Like if you hover over, what is it called with the time? I don't know what it's called, but anyways, <laughs> I have the timestamps for everything down there. So if you're not interested in crafting, skip on ahead but i know most of these subscribers probably all of these subscribers are interested so we are starting with sewing and crafting also i did this video last year so i will link that video as well um go check that out if you want more ideas especially if you want more sewing and crafting ideas because sewing and crafting never goes out of style anyways let's just get started starting off strong with something i have been dreaming of owning for so long and have just not jump the gun to buy is <laughs> a tufting gun get it it's not funny anyways i think rug tufting is just so flipping awesome tough the world or tuftinggun.com has an entire starting pack for a tufting gun it comes with like the gun the frame the fabric all that jazz and i would specifically want the cut pile gun because i think that's a little bit cuter than the loop pile now that's pretty expensive if you do not want something that expensive go ahead and try a needle punching starter kit i have been needle punching for a few months now and i'm obsessed basically needle punches by hand and it looks slightly different but it is still super fun and relaxing i'll link a video of me doing it up on the top of the screen and down below but that is a great alternative something that's not really on my list this year but i think it is awesome if you are like equal parts craft and sewing is a cricut machine i think the maker 3 just came out i don't know if just came out maybe a few months ago but the cricut maker 3 i found a sewing cricut maker bundle on joanne's website which i think would be great for a lot of you guys i know that you can like cut out patterns on Cricut Makers. I don't have any experience doing that because I do not have one, but I think that's an awesome way to utilize your Cricut. Let's just hit all of the crafting machines while we're on that topic. So the Sizer sublimation printer looks cool. If you don't know sublimation printers, like print like using a special die and when you iron it on, it makes that pattern or whatever you printed part of the fabric. It's not like the transfer paper that has that like plasticky filmy look. It like literally becomes part of the fabric. If you're into textile design and fashion design, I think that would be awesome. Um, it is expensive though. And then if you are a new sewist, I want to recommend a sewing machine to you guys. So my favorite brands for beginners are Singer and Brother. I personally have Jukies, but those are quite expensive and I would not recommend them to someone who is just starting out. Singers and Brothers are a safe bet. However, the Singer heavy duty line, I think is just fabulous it'll take you a long way in your sewing journey and it's a pretty good price point for a beginner next up if you're a crafter or crafting books whatever craft that you're into check out the books online and pick a book i will link a video to my favorite sewing resources and books on top of the screen down below something that you also might want to ask for is fabric and a sewing pattern or one or the other or the two together so of course i gotta do a little shameless self promo i do have patterns for sale on my etsy it is the first link down below check those out and if you're interested in a pattern you can ask for that for christmas and fabric that goes along with it um super random but here are some fabrics i've just been dreaming about lately and i haven't jumped the gun to buy because i don't know what i would would make actually i do i need to make a coat with that first one and i need to make a puffy dress with the second one okay i might buy that for myself organization for your sewing room or crafting room is amazing i am dying for this thread organizer my thread is organized in like this little box and it's awful so having everything on display would just be fabulous also asking for pins would be great something that somehow dwindles over the years which i'm not sure how they dwindle are they all over my floor? I hope not because that's dangerous. Next up is Omnigrid rulers. I think I mentioned this last year for my video, but seriously, I've just grown so attached to them. I'm obsessed. I want like a smaller one. And little tip, if you guys have nails, ooh, long nails, and it's so hard to pick up those rulers, I found out they have a little suction grabby thing, <laughs> a little suction grabby thing holder for those rulers 
which would definitely help me because I sit there like cursing at the ground trying to pick up the ruler. Anyways. And then lastly for sewing and crafting is a steamer. I have multiple steamers. I am obsessed with steamers. They make my life so easy. And check out this steamer. It's like a garment bag and a steamer in one. Sick. Okay, next category is fashion because I know you guys also really like fashion. I, unfortunately, I'm telling you this too late because they just had a sale, but I'm sure they'll have more sales. Anyways. The sheer text tights that you know, you've been seeing all over the internet on ads, those look bomb. They're like military grade tights and apparently are unbreakable and never rip, which I need because I'm tall and I have long nails and I just rip my tights every time I wear them. I bought some yesterday because they were having this amazing sale. Don't pay full price for them because they usually have good sales. Um, but yeah, those look sick and it's something that you probably don't want to buy with your own money. <laughs> Next, it's Christmas, so it is the perfect time to get a new winter coat. I have three that have been living in my head rent free. The first one is from Princess Polly. I've also seen this in green. This pink one is so cute. If I didn't already have a pink coat, I would have bought this yesterday, but the green one is also super cute. The next one is this modern Cruella. Like, look at this coat. Oh my gosh, Cruella, who is she? This is adorable. I think I should make this. Do we think I should make this? Yes, I should. I should make it. And the third is the super giant puffy coat. If you live in a colder climate, then you definitely already have something warm like this. Since I don't live in a super cold climate and it's just cold for like a couple months, I've never invested into like a really nice coat with like, what's it called? Like down, down? Is that what it's called? Like duck down and stuff inside that makes you super warm. Yeah, I, I need one of those. I need one of those because I get cold. And you know what? It's not cute being cold. It's cute being warm. Also on the topic of staying warm, leather gloves. Leather gloves are freaking cute. Like they are not ugly or bulky. They are cute and they are warm. So next up, merch. I'm obsessed with this Olivia Rodrigo shirt that says, God, it's brutal out here. Cringy, yes. Cute, yes. <laughs> I think, I don't know. I like it and we all know that we can't buy Olivia Rodrigo merch because it's fake. Sorry, Olivia, I love you, but your merch is not good. Also on the topic of March, I need to shout out this Etsy shop. It's called Stephanie Official. I have so many things from there. I buy all of their Criminal Minds shirts. Like, look how cute these are. I have Spencer Reed ones. I have a Matthew Gray Goobler one. I have an Agent Hotchner one. Obsessed. And also on the topic of Etsy, if you don't know what you want, go on Etsy and just scroll because people are creative out there you will get a lot of good ideas scrolling on Etsy. Again, speaking of Etsy, I found this super cute necklace on Etsy. I think we all have seen the name necklaces. I have one actually in silver, but this one is so cute. Like that font and that chain, adorable. Like that is the cutest name necklace I've ever seen. For sure, I need it. Also, if you wanna get someone a necklace or you wanna ask for a necklace and you are into astrology, then ask for a cute necklace set that is your sign or signs, whatever, it's cute. Next up in fashion is earrings and not just any earrings. This is only gonna affect like 1% of you guys who don't have your ears pierced. I don't have my ears pierced because I have an allergy and I get keloids and you don't care. So I have to wear clip-on earrings, but even these clip-ons kind of um, make my allergies act up because it's like a metal clip. But there's this brand I recently found out about called Era, and they have like these like hypoallergenic plastic clips. So cute. Like all of those earrings would be on the top of my wish list because their entire website is cute and they're non-ear pierced people friendly. <laughs> Shoes. Christmas is a great time to ask for new sneakers. If you wear the crap out of your sneakers and they're dying, get a new pair. I like these Reeboks. Also, I recently discovered my new favorite shoe brand. Well, like recently, like a few months ago, La Moda. Have you heard of them? If you haven't, go check them out because look at this, how cute. All of their shoes are like super chunky and like fashion forward. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Oh, and then one more thing for jewelry. I forgot friendship rings. I know everyone gets friendship necklaces and I am guilty of having a lot of those, but I never wear them because they're like front and center. And if they don't go with your outfit, like I'm not going to wear it. So rings are a lot less noticeable, more low key, and you can still feel connected to your besties. Like, look how cute these butterflies are. Perfect. Okay. Loungewear, check out some loungewear sets, anything from the skims website. I've never bought anything from Skims, but I'm jealous of everyone else who has things from Skims. Anything from their cozy line like this, so cute. Also pajamas. 
I got a black like satin pajama set last year, obsessed with it, wear it all the time. Love this pink one. Satin pajama sets just make you feel like, like an adult. You know what I mean? It just makes you feel cool. It doesn't need to be like the real silk ones because those are really expensive, but satin pajamas, cute. Also something that I think would be good to just ask for every single year are new slippers, just because I feel like slippers get nasty after an entire year of wearing them. So these moccasins are cute and they look very warm. And then lastly in the fashion category is Zara jeans, Zara. Yeah, Zara jeans are so cute. I've never bought them and I'm watching all these TikToks of how cute Zara jeans are. And I feel like they'd be good for me, especially since I'm tall and they all come like pretty tall and I can just cut them to the length I want. Okay, next category is beauty. So first off, I think we all know that Ariana Grande just released her new brand, REM Beauty. Anything from that anything from that. Next, if I actually had long hair or like more medium length hair, I would just so ask for this robe, curls, headband, heatless curls situation that we've all seen on TikTok. <gasps> that it just looks amazing. I wish I had long hair, that's unfortunate. Press on nails if you don't want to get your nails done every couple of weeks because it's so expensive. Ask for some press on nails. They still are kind of expensive, but way less expensive than doing these. Um, Urban Outfitters has really cute ones, like really cute patterns. Um, and then Static Nails has like a bunch of different cute shapes. A silk pillowcase, I have a silk pillowcase that I made that I'm afraid to use because I don't want to ruin it, which is stupid, but silk pillowcase. <laughs> Any type of beauty subscription, so like BoxyCharm, Ipsy, or it doesn't even have to be fully beauty, like FabFitFun. It's a great time to ask for a subscription box. It's a gift that keeps on giving every month. This is the Revlon One Step Plus. It is the new one. I actually just bought it. Unfortunately, I, I should have used it today so you could have seen like the volume it gives you. Let me, I'll post a picture of my face with me having used it. <laughs> um, it makes my hair look so good. I'm obsessed with it. It has more settings than the other Revlon one. It is longer and thinner than the other one. It's just, it's, it's good. Let me tell you, it's good. And obviously you can ask for the Dyson stuff, but if you think that that is a ridiculous price, I understand because I agree. Um, and I would try out this one. <laughs> Christmas is also the best time to ask for a perfume. I actually um, am allergic to perfume, a lot of perfumes. So I never get perfumes, but if I were to get a perfume, it'd be this one. Maybe I'll get it and have a bunch of allergies. That doesn't seem like a good idea. You could also ask for a new brush set or a brush cleaner. I'm obsessed with this brush cleaner. I never clean my brushes because I struggle to do it. So having that would be good. And then lastly for beauty, definitely go on Sephora's website or walk into a Sephora and just look at all their gift sets. Here are some that I am obsessed with like this, the viral TikTok setting spray. Love this. The Fenty glosses, so cute. Plus. Don't you want to buy things in travel sizes anyways? Because whoever finishes like full tubes of lip gloss, not me. This rare beauty set is super cool. And then lastly, this like skin set for redness, especially during the winter, a lot of us get red. I'm always red, so having this would be good. <laughs> okay, moving on to tech. Starting off a ring light, which I mentioned last year, but I would like to make an amendment to that, a ring light with a battery, because if you want to take pictures outside or pictures outside at night, you cannot have a cord because we're gonna plug that in. So a battery would be good. This little waterproof phone case for your shower, like you put it on the wall and you can watch Netflix, you can watch YouTube. Do I trust it? I don't know, but it seems cool and very Gen Z of me. Oh, next, something I just bought for me and Cody, an Oculus Quest 2, it's a VR headset. So much fun, hours of fun. Also, it's a pretty good workout. I cannot believe how cool technology is. Anyways, next, my speaker of choice, I actually have this, is the JBL Clip 3. I'm obsessed with this, use it in the shower, put it on my backpack, use it outside, use it on my work desk. Very nice. Is this tech, I'm not sure, a vacuum cleaner, a cordless vacuum cleaner. This was my dream. This is the one I have. It's the Shark Duo Vertex cordless vacuum. Um, I'm obsessed with it. Let me tell you, let me save you money and weeks of research. I did multiple weeks of research for this. Um, it's good for hardwood and carpets <laughs> and it is not as expensive as the Dyson. Don't get me wrong, it is still expensive, but not as expensive as the Dyson and I freaking love it. I could talk about it for hours. I'm gonna stop if you wanna know about it. I'll put it in the comments. <laughs> and last in tech is an air purifier. Um, 
That's very adult of me. I just have bad allergies and I would like to have one. <laughs> okay, moving on to my miscellaneous category. Starting off strong, this poster. It's a poster, like a scratch off poster for 100 dates. If you do not have a significant other, do it with your friends or don't get this poster and get the 100 movies poster. They have a bunch of different versions of this from a bunch of different brands on the internet. I think this is just so helpful because I never know what to do and I'm always bored. And so this can help force me to do something while documenting the memories. If you have a pet, ask for something for your pet. I think that this little interactive toy is cool because it'll keep your pet having fun. I feel like this is a good time to ask for like lessons. Like I would love if I got skating lessons, although no one, please no one buy me skating lessons because I have a schedule that I need to work around. Um, but I might buy myself skating lessons. <laughs> Going along with that, if you don't want to take lessons, just ask for the equipment yourself and teach yourself. So like, here is some roller skates. I don't want to learn how to roller skate, but I basically just do because of how cute these are. Like look at the rhinestones. Look at the rhinestones. That is so cute. I love rhinestones. See, 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 I love rhinestones. Ooh, I want those skates. Next, one of my favorite things to get for gifts ever are games. When I say games, I mean like games you can play with friends whenever they're over because I don't want to sit there bored. The voting game, I love this. This is the not safe for work edition. Next, Tipsy Tower. That would be fun to play with your friends. Play it if you're 21 and up. <laughs> Third, Jackbox, you can get it for whatever console you have. I have a Nintendo Switch, but that's fun if you have like a lot of friends over. Okay, next is this clothing rack that you can put in your car. If you do a lot of photo shoots like I do, that would be iconic to have. I saw that one on wawalk.com. Love Wawalk. For sewing supplies, go check out Wawalk. That's a little side note, a little tip if you want cheap sewing supplies, wawalk.com. One more thing, last thing on the list are candles. And not just any candles, Bath and Body Works candles. Candle day is coming up. So you can get your three wick candles for only ten dollarinos. You can also do it online. So um, I think that's also a great gift to give people. Like you can bulk shop for that and then give them to different people. So Bath and Body Works candles, my favorite. I have a lot. I have a lot of candles. I posted on my Instagram story one time, and everyone told me that I was like gonna die from um, wax in my lungs. And you're right, probably, but. I love candles. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas for your wish list and some ideas for gifts to give others. Um, let me know any other Christmas theme videos you want down below and let me know some other things that are on your wish list or some things you're giving to other people so that we can all help each other in the comments. If you found this video helpful or if you liked it at all, feel free to give me a thumbs up because it is the easiest way to support your favorite creators for free. Um, also, feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My handle is Kiana Bonolo. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. But I think that is everything. So I will let you guys go. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you next time. Bye. Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree.